Here we're looking at a nice little model of the heart. The base of the heart is going to be up here and the apex of the heart is going to be down here. The heart's going to take on a triangular shape here. Now, some of the things we can see on the external surface, the atria would be up here. Okay, this would be left atrium, this would be right atrium. The right ventricle would be down here and then this structure right here would be the left ventricle. Okay. Now, there's a groove here between the ventricles and that's going to be the interventricular sulcus. If we look toward the top, we can see our aorta right here and the aorta consists of the ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and then the descending aorta which would be back behind here. There's going to be three branches off of the aortic arch. One right here is going to be the brachiocephalic trunk. This one right here is going to be the left common carotid. And then this one right here is going to be the left subclavian, which we can see here and here. This brachiocephalic trunk right here is going to branch into right common carotid and right subclavian. This structure is the pulmonary trunk, and that pulmonary trunk would branch and to make pulmonary arteries, which would take deoxygenated blood to the lungs, which are going to sit right next to this. We also have some veins over here. This vein right here would be the superior vena cava, and it's going to receive blood from these brachiocephalic veins right here. Okay. This is the inferior thyroid vein, and that's also going to dump blood into this brachiocephalic vein. Okay. Here we've got internal jugular vein and here we've got external jugular vein. This vein right here is going to be the subclavian vein and all these again would dump into our brachiocephalic vein. The story is the same on this side as well. The coronary arteries are going to branch off the aorta. They would be the first branches off this ascending part of the aorta. We're going to have our right coronary artery going in this direction, and the left coronary artery is going to go behind this pulmonary trunk right here and go in this direction. This artery right here is going to be the left anterior descending artery. Now, this part of the left coronary artery right here is going to be the circumflex artery and that's going to circle around toward the back of the heart. If we follow this right coronary artery in this direction we can see that it's going to give off this artery right here which is a marginal artery. We can see this right coronary artery coming back here and forming this posterior descending artery right here. That's going to descend through this posterior interventricular sulcus. This blood vessel right here is the great cardiac vein and that great cardiac vein is going to bring blood back here around to the back of the heart toward this coronary sinus. This is the coronary sinus right here. It receives blood from the great cardiac vein, uh, the middle cardiac vein and then the small cardiac vein. Now this coronary sinus right here will dump blood into the right atrium. This structure right here is the inferior vena cava, which would also dump blood into that right atrium. Some of what we can see back here on the posterior aspect, here we can see the descending aorta. Specifically, this would be in the thoracic cavity, so it would be the thoracic aorta. Here we can see these red blood vessels right here. Even though they're red, they're going to be veins. Blood's going to come to the heart through these blood vessels. So these are pulmonary veins. They're going to carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium. This right here is a primary bronchus. This structure right here is the trachea. This pink thing right here is the esophagus. Okay, these green things right here would be lymphatics. This structure right here would be an azygous vein. This blood vessel on the side here, this is going to be one of the pulmonary arteries bringing blood to the right lung. It's blue because it's carrying deoxygenated blood to the lungs to get oxygen. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.